Pedro, I'm Zoe. And I'm Jeremy with your morning announcements for Wednesday, June the 15th. Let's start off the show with a message from Ms. Verasso. Good morning, Gales. I'm here this morning on behalf of Cathedral Outreach and our Annex, and I just want to say a big thank you to all the graduates who have been bringing their uniforms that they are no longer needing into the Annex. Uh, we really need your uniform donations because it really helps our students in, uh, for next year. So I just want to actually put a shout out to all of our students because we are a little bit low on the donations this year that we would, if you have any uniform items that you no longer wear, that you've either outgrown or maybe you have siblings that still have cathedral uniform items, uh, we will gladly accept those donations. So as an incentive, I do have a number of gift, $25 gift cards here. And so anyone who brings in a piece, a uniform piece uh, to room 206 tomorrow uh, can uh, be eligible every, for every uniform piece uh, that you bring in. Your name will go into a draw for the uh, gift cards that, I have, that we have. So tomorrow, Thursday, room 206 in the morning, anyone who has any uniform donations, please bring them there. The annex is closed just for tomorrow on Thursday, so grade 12s as well. If you bring your uniform pieces in tomorrow, please bring them to room 206. And just uh, one more thing, my track team, we are taking our team photo at the beginning of period four in the foyer off Wentworth Street. That's all from me, back to the anchors. Thanks, miss. The annual outreach carnival is back and it takes place this Friday. The carnival will take place during period three and four lunches. You can attend the carnival for free on your lunch. If you would like to buy out of your period three or four class, you can purchase a $2 buyout ticket directly from your teacher. During the carnival, you can participate in games, competitions, and take in some performances by Step Squad and the cheer team. You could also get your face painted for free by the talented Miss Herbert. The Diversity Club will be selling foods from around the world for you to try out, and they will have a henna station. Bring some change for these items as they'll cost $2. In period one on Friday, every student in the school will receive a food ticket. This food ticket can be redeemed during periods three or four for a free lunch. You could enjoy a hamburger or a hot dog, juice box, and a bag of popcorn. Once again, all for free. But don't, for, don't lose that food ticket from your period one class. If you do, you will have to purchase these food items. During lunches, you can participate in some carnival games, such as inflatable limbo, zappamol, giant Jenga, kick and score, as well as a futuristic arena. Participating in these games are free. Gale Guide and Student Council members will be at each station to ensure a smooth flow of people so that everyone can enjoy the games. The only game you will need to buy a ticket for is Beat the Bucket. You can purchase tickets to soak some of our awesome cathedral staff and some brave CHS students. Stay tuned for a list of people you can soak. And lastly, you will have the opportunity to participate in some contests, including watermelon eating, pie eating, and cookies and milk eating contests. These contests will see one person from each grade compete, in the, compete for the ultimate bragging rights. These contests will happen twice each lunch period. Student Council is looking forward to hosting the, this end of the year event. Attention members of Cathedral's track and field team, you'll be taking a team picture in front of the foyer off Wentworth Street at the beginning of period four today. Team members are asked to be in the foyer by 1230 for the picture. Summer jobs are available in the Public Works Department at the City of Hamilton if you are at least 18 years old and are not going to college or university in the fall. Please go to the current opportunities link at hamilton.ca slash jobs dash city to apply. The job posting will remain open throughout the summer. See Ms. Barrasso if you have any questions. Attention all grade 12 students who have been accepted to a post-secondary institution. The deadline to apply for the African-Caribbean Cultural Potpourri Scholarship is this Friday, June the 17th. Qualifications and applications can be found online. Any Lit team members are reminded to pick up their readings for Friday's liturgy. You'll have a quick setup meeting tomorrow after school. Please meet in the chapel. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Have a great day, Gales, and thanks for watching.